Hello, my name is Kevin. I'm an occupational therapist within the specialist Children and Young People Services. As occupational therapists, we can help children and young people grow, learn, have fun, socialize and play, so they can develop, thrive and reach their full potential. We offer support to help children be as independent as possible in all areas of their lives. As OTs, we are going to introduce you to a series of videos to explain how to improve the child's coordination and motor planning, which are important skills to engage in functional tasks such as getting dressed, engaging in PE activities, and other meaningful tasks. Motor planning is the ability to conceive of, organize, and execute smooth and coordinated movements. It requires accurate perception of how the body is designed and how it functions as a whole unit. Sensory information from touch, joint position, and movement must be collected and organized effectively in order to move the body in a coordinated manner. Once any skill has been learned, it no longer requires conscious motor planning. However, a child with motor planning difficulties often has to plan a task over and over because it does not sink in and become spontaneous. The first set of videos will involve the child jumping in different positions. These videos have been organized from easy to hard. Try them in order and see how your child progresses in doing these activities. We also have some top tips in the video that will guide your child in doing the activity. Jump. Jump on the floor with both feet together. You can also jump with other people to be more fun. Jump off a low box with assist. Jump off a low box, bench or stool whilst holding both hands of another person. You can also jump off whilst holding one hand of another person, depending on skill levels. Jump off a low box, bench or stool independently. Jump with arms and legs out, forming like a star. Put arms and legs together. Repeat the same series of steps. Soldier jumps. Jump whilst lifting the arm and leg on the same side simultaneously. Then jump whilst lifting the other arm and leg simultaneously as well. And repeat the same series of steps. Jump with arms and legs out, forming like a star and clap hands above the head. Then put arms and legs together afterwards and repeat the same series of steps. The second set of videos will involve cross taps wherein the child would be combining arm and leg movements in different positions. These videos have been graded from easy to hard. Try these in order and see how your child progresses in doing these activities. Taps. Raise the left knee and touch it with the right hand. Raise then the right knee and touch it with the left hand and repeat the same series of steps. Lower cross taps. Raise the left ankle, position it in front of the other leg, and touch it with your right hand. Raise then the right ankle, position it in front of the other leg, and touch it with the left hand. Repeat the same series of steps. Cross taps. Raise the left ankle, position it behind the other leg, and touch with the right hand. Raise then the right ankle, position it behind the other leg, and touch it with the left hand. Repeat the same series of steps. The third set of videos will involve animal walks, wherein the child will be walking and moving like an animal on the mat or the floor. These videos have been graded from easy to hard. Try these in order and see how your child progresses in doing these activities. Crawl with hands flat and knees in contact with the mat. Walk either forward or backwards. Walk, walk on tiptoes with arms stretched above the head and hands together to form the giraffe's head. Walk either forward or backward. Cross arms and hold the ears. Crouch with both knees bent on the mat and hop forward on both legs. Crouch with both knees bent and hands flat with the mat. Hop forward on both legs. Standing crab walk. Squat with knees partially bent. Walk sideways and do the pincer movements whilst walking. Crab walk on mat. Sit on the floor whilst placing both hands 
on the mat behind you with knees bent and feet flat in front. Push up with your hands and feet, then walk backwards. Make sure that the back and bottom are not touching the mat whilst walking. The fourth set of videos will involve the child rolling in different directions on the mat. These videos are graded from easy to hard. Try them in order and see how your child progresses in doing the activities. Lie with both arms stretched above the head and roll over on the mat. Roll either forwards or backwards. Log rolling with ball. Lie down with both of the arms stretched above the head whilst holding a ball and roll over on the mat. Roll either forwards or backwards. Lie down on your stomach on the mat and try to stop someone turning you over in different directions. The fifth set of videos will involve different games wherein the child will be doing motor coordination activities with other people. Plan and carry out sequences of different movements, such as put your left arm up and your right leg up, clap hands first, then turn around, hop once and jump once. Also, you can make your own movements and have your child do it. Ask the child to skip the rope in different ways. Skip over the stationary rope being held by two people. Then, skip over the rope being swung by two people. Lastly, hold the rope and skip continuously. Pretend like a statue, hold the position as long as you can and try to stop someone moving you. Here are some top tips when doing the activities with your child. Gain the child's attention before giving the instruction and explaining the activity. Give the instructions slowly and clearly. Be specific and concise with your instructions. For example, when you are asking the child to jump, you can say, jump on the floor with both feet together. If the child is having difficulties in carrying out the activity, Break the activity down into small steps and provide a demonstration if necessary. Teach one step at a time. Give prompting regarding what your arms, legs and other body parts need to do. Let the child repeat back the instruction to help in remembering what needs to be done. Stop and think first. Let the child imagine successfully completing the activity. Repetition can be helpful. The child might possibly need more repetition than other people in doing the activity. Provide physical prompts. They may be helpful at first to let the child have a feel of the movement or position when doing the activity. Provide positive praise, reinforcement or encouragement. Encourage self-monitoring. Let the child monitor oneself if possible and ask if it went right or wrong. Give feedback to the child about the performance. Summary. Make the activities fun and let them do the activity as independently as possible. To know more about the Occupational Therapy Service, you can visit us at our SKIPS Occupational Therapy website with the link in the video to access other useful information that can further support your child's independence in their everyday activities at home and school. You can also visit our YouTube channel, which is Elf to Skips Newham, to access other videos that would help your child establish different functional skills. There is a variety of activities in Newham, which are being run by a range of groups, organizations and agencies. The local borough is working to make sure that all events and activities are as accessible as possible. You can access these on the Newham Local Offer page through the website link on the video. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time in our other videos.